All right, so I pressure washed the front of the car, or just the engine bay, and uh, you can see I actually wrapped some plastic wrap around here. It was touching the ground when I was able to do it, so it shot down, and then uh, I was able to make this little thing to kind of guide the water back so it didn't get my garage too dirty. So I'm just now raising it up now, and I'm gonna go under there and spray it with the, some degreaser and then the pressure washer just to get everything cleaned up. So. It's all cleaned up. And I also went ahead and raised the car up and, and cleaned underneath. So um, everything's looking really nice. Um, and with that, now I'm ready to raise up the Corvette engine. Went ahead and pulled off the covers, which don't require any hardware. It's really cool how they fit on. And then uh, now I've removed these five bolts on this side. I'm removing the intake manifold here. So uh, it's easy without, uh, it's easy to do it without any, uh, anything but this tool because it's not in the car. So you guys can probably tell what show I'm watching, <laughs> but all right. And then one more. And it should lift it right off. I'm just gonna cover up the holes and be really careful about it. Um, and I purchased this lifting plate. And what's gonna happen is it has some screws here and it's going to take the place of the exhaust man, or it's gonna basically go over here. And I guess it screws in, so hopefully it fits. I mean, there should be some screws in there, so we'll see. Or some uh, something to run the screw. All right, so everything's going a little too well and that's all good. So this plate is meant for the LS engines, you know, 6.2, 5.7, whatever. So uh, unfortunately it does not want to fit on here because of this, uh, this thing sticking out here. Not sure what it's for, but uh, anyways, what I'm going to do is I've drawn a little, it's just mock up here. I'm just going to cut this out and I'm hoping it'll work. So I'm sure it will. Okay, and nope. All right, homies, so the plate fits now. I could have pulled this piece off here, but there's some sort of gasket. I didn't want to deal with that. Um, so these screws that came with it actually didn't fit. They're too short, and I think that they plan for you to pull this off, but I'm gonna leave it on and I use the screws that I originally pulled out. All right, so the lift won't fit, so I'm just cutting uh, these out uh, to get it to fit through, and it should be fine. It's teetering. I don't wanna put a ballast on the end because it's just me and a little too risky, so I can put it, guys. The engine's off the pallet. Uh, as you can see, the clutch is not on. I haven't even put the oil pan on. I may remove this oil pan and pop the other one on just temporarily. Uh, just to check the fitment for everything. I'm mostly concerned about the alternator. It uh, really does stick out on these Corvette engines. I do think I might have enough space. Uh, I have been told by others that it, it might not fit. So I just want to test it because I do like the position of it. Um, but if that doesn't work, I will go ahead and relocate it with a lower mount bracket and get it down there. So that's why we're doing this test fit. And then also it'll help uh, wiring reading specialties, uh, the company that I'm buying my harness from, know exactly what measurements to go with. 